As time inches on during the pandemic, more people are willing to get out and about in the state. We're hearing from viewers concerned about large crowds, and this is video an 11 Alive viewer sent from a crowd along the Chattahoochee near Roswell. It looks like those famous pictures from the Chattahoochee of about 1980 or 81, somewhere through there, that uh, one of the radio stations sponsored many years ago. I mean, that's a big crowd, maybe not quite that big, but man, it's something to see. But it's not just outside you need to be concerned about. And Chanu Her is live at the famous Jackson Street Bridge, the one that all of us have had our picture taken at at one time or another, explaining why spending time indoors also could be hazardous to your health. Yeah, Jeff, experts and researchers say social distancing rules can help protect you from outdoor exposure and also those brief exposures. But when it comes to being inside, they say keep in mind how much time you're actually spending indoors because experts say if you're in close quarters with others for a long time, that could be a breeding ground for the virus. By now, most people are aware of the common ways to protect yourself from coronavirus. Wearing masks, washing your hands, and keeping six feet apart. But check out this blog post now catching people's attention. It's also stressing how much your time spent in high-risk environments can make you vulnerable. Dr. Aaron Bromage, an immunologist and professor at University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, writes an equation in his blog, successful infection equals exposure to virus times time. Minimizing the amount of time that you spend in those environments becomes really important in lowering your risk. Some of those high-risk places Dr. Bromage mentions, workplaces, public transport, social gatherings, restaurants, and homes. Dr. Bromage says some of the ways the virus can get into the environment includes sneezing, talking, yelling, and singing. The longer an infected person spends in that area, the more they can potentially release into the environment, which then increases the risk for everybody else who's in that restaurant. Dr. Bromage adds a single cough releases 3,000 droplets. Compare that to a single sneeze, which he says releases about 30,000 droplets that can travel up to 200 miles per hour. Dr. Sujatha Reddy says overall, Dr. Bromage's equation is right, but she says there are also factors that make each situation different. There's a lot of variables. How much virus is that person expelling? Are they expelling a small amount, a large amount? We just don't have that information. Dr. Reddy stresses taking stock of your own daily surroundings. Now with businesses starting to reopen, Dr. Reddy still encourages people to wear masks in public. That helps you contain what you put out there. And of course, she still encourages people to practice social distancing.